one of the greatest players in NFL history, one of the boldest moves in NFL history. On March 20th, 2012, the Denver Broncos signed Peyton Manning. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is sort of a historic meeting today. Peyton is one of the best to ever to play this game. And uh, I feel very fortunate to have him here. We didn't try to sell him hard. We wanted him to feel comfortable here and a place that uh, he would want to come and work. Um, I believe that uh, he's got a lot of great football left in him. I'm very excited to begin the next chapter of my playing career for the Denver Broncos. And this truly is a special football environment, and I'm glad to be a part of it. The Denver Broncos under Pat Bolin and John Elway want to improve every year. And the signing of Peyton Manning was one of the few off-season moves that could have topped last year's remarkable season. Denver transformed into an AFC powerhouse by virtue of a six-game winning streak, which featured a league-leading ground game, a stellar defense, and stunning comebacks. <laughs> Didn't you know it? The Broncos tied an NFL record by winning six games when they trailed or were tied entering the fourth quarter. Never a doubt, Dave. Never a doubt. 2011 had a slow start, a fast finish, and then a playoff win for the ages. A familiar place for this Broncos team. This will be the fourth overtime game of the season. Just in case you're wondering, the previous three have all been Bronco victories. And overtime really has been Bronco time for this team. Denver's football first snap of overtime here tied at 23. Line of scrimmage, the Bronco 20. Tim play fakes in the pocket, sets, throws, pass, caught. Demarius Thomas out over the 45 midfield. Here we go. 15, 10, touchdown. Denver is over. It's over in Denver. 2011 featured a coaching change a culture change, and then a seismic change in the offseason with the signing of Peyton Manning. Last year was a good year. 2012 could be a great year. At the beginning of the 2011 season, head coach John Fox was taking over a 4-12 and 12 team, and he immediately gave his squad a sense of urgency. Hey, game speed! Let's go, game speed! Coach Fox wasn't looking back. He was looking ahead, but only to the next play or the next repetition. Let's go, get better! It's all there. We're just going to get better this week. All right, light it up. You hear me? All right, light it up. Light it up. We're building habits, man, hopefully good ones. Again, preparation, 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 mentally and physically. All right, how we practice, all right, and how we prepare. Remember, if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So make sure we're that much sharper this week going around, all right, because that's what we can control. Anybody got any questions? For the past few seasons, the Broncos had many questions, and now owner Pat Bolin turned to John Elway for answers. Elway had quarterbacked the Broncos to five Super Bowl appearances and back-to-back -back titles. And now, in his first year as an executive, it was his responsibility to set the targets for the franchise to hit. In week two, veteran defensive leader Brian Dawkins had his eyes on the prize. You ain't hollered at me in a long time, huh? I need you. I need to holler at you, boy. Tell your boys to come holler at me, all right? If you don't holler at me, tell your boys to come holler at me. I need to talk to you today. Come see your boy. Come see your boy. Hey, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I'm 
Simpson. Brian Dawkins was there. In his first NFL start, wide receiver Eric Decker had 113 yards receiving and two touchdowns, while free agent acquisition Willis McGahee topped the century mark on the ground. Let's go! McGahee takes the hand off right side. Willis to the end zone, and he leans in. He's got a Denver touchdown. Oh, hey, hey, get it right, get it right, get it right, get it right. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Hey, get it, get it. Go grab, go grab, coach. Go grab, coach. And John Fox has just secured his help first me, me, victory me, as the head coach of the Denver Broncos. Congratulations, baby. Oh, that's a great win. That's a great win. Denver failed to capitalize on its win over the Bengals, and a three-game losing streak ensued. It was a learning experience for the players and the coaches. By week seven, John Fox decided to change the team's style, and with it, its fortunes. But the early results were not promising. Looks terrible for three quarters. And the crowd officially now has turned on Tim Tebow. <laughs> Trailing 15 to nothing with less than eight minutes left in the game, Tim Tebow and the Denver Broncos mounted a comeback for the ages. Looks in the end zone. Look out, Tim. Spins away from one would-be tackler. Come on, Tim Tebow to throw this ball. Tenth play of the drive. 15-7 Miami. It's going to be an onside kick. Prater with the kick. It is high up into the air. And I think the ball is loose. And Denver has the football. Don't go away yet. 25 seconds to go in the game. Design roll to the left side. Tebow sets, throws. Backside. This is going to be Fells. Fells is going to walk into the end zone. Denver touchdown. And the Broncos are a two-point conversion away from a tie. Tebow. Quarterback draw. Tebow's going to be into the end zone. And we are tied at 15. We're going to head into overtime. In overtime, linebacker D.J. Williams sacked quarterback Matt Moore and recovered his fumble, the first of many key contributions the defense would make in 2011. Matt Prater has been money from beyond 50. Prater with plenty of leg, and it is good! Prater is lifted to the shoulders of his teammates in the middle of the field. Matt Prater is money! Despite entering the game with a 2-5 and five record, the Denver Broncos showed their full potential against Oakland. All three phases of the game contributed, beginning with a relentless defense that harassed Carson Palmer all day. Pressure again, three-step drop, fade route, right side. Champ's going to be there. Champ's got the football. Champ Bailey with an interception. Special teams also did its part as Eddie Royal broke a fourth quarter tie with an electrifying punt return. Royal gets a block to the house! Eddie Royal! An 86-yard touchdown return of a punt. But it was the season-high 299 team rushing yards that got the headlines. 45-40, foot race, here we go, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, McGahee inside the five, touchdown, Denver! Willis McGahee, one of six Bronco Pro Bowlers, carried 20 times for 163 yards, as Denver avenged a week one loss to the Raiders. I don't think a Raider touched him. Very quietly, the Denver Broncos were playing some of the best football in the NFL. Their offense was unconventional, but it fit their talents and allowed players to do what they do best. 7.06 to go in the game, 10-7 Broncos. Tebow throwing long to the near side for Eric Decker. He's got him over the shoulder. 10-5 touchdown. Tebow puts it on the money. The second completion of the game for Tim Tebow. Denver didn't care how they won. 
and maybe that's why they kept winning. In a Thursday night game against the Jets, Defensive Rookie of the Year Vaughn Miller added to his AFC leading sack total. Say hello from the rookie. Their Broadway opponents knew the Broncos' script. Denver would keep it close, then win it in the final lap. Picked off by Andre Goodman. 2015, 10 Goodman to the house. Tebow looking like he's gonna max blitz. He does, Tebow escapes and he can run. 25, 20, Tebow 15, inside the 10, inside the five. Are you kidding? Tim Tebow, Denver touchdown. 58 seconds to go. Never, man. there was never a down. Go ahead and explain this one. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> We done done something that got ourselves back into something that we wanted to be in the first dog ball. Let's take advantage of it today, gentlemen. After three straight wins, the division was far from won. But the Defensive Rookie of the Year argument might have been settled in Week 12 against San Diego. Rivers drops the throw. He's going to be hit and sacked back at the 30-yard line. That's Vaughn Miller. That was a deadly fast spin move. A quick spin, beat the tackle to the inside, and got to Phillip Rivers before he could even go through his first read. When you look over here, he moves. This guy's going to be wide open. Fakes bubble screen, throws to Decker in the end zone, and Decker's got a different touchdown. The Broncos staged an epic rally completing their third, fourth quarter comeback of the season. Very interesting looking play. They faked the option one way and then came back the other way. I got a lot of confidence in Matt Prater. The win gave Denver a six and five record. The first time in 2011 that they were above 500. The Broncos made the plays at the end to win it. The Broncos took their four-game winning streak to Minnesota, and Denver's early season struggles seemed like a distant memory. Pass going to be intercepted. Mario Hagan to the 10, Hagan to the 5, getting into the end zone. Touchdown, Denver! Tebow sets, throws. He's got Demaryius Thomas. Touchdown, Denver! The Broncos blitz, and Christian fires left. Caught Percy inside the 40, to the right, and he is... 22-14 with 312 to go in the third quarter. Denver was trailing, but they had the Vikings right where they wanted them. The corner's got to sit hard inside, man. We gotta tackle this quarterback. Man, we gotta put that guy on the ground somehow. It didn't matter if you knocked down the Broncos, they would get back up. Tebow rolls to his left, stops, points downfield. Now stiff arms a Viking to the ground and throws on the run. Pass to a wide open Demaryius Thomas. Inside the 20. DT inside the 15. Breaks the tackle inside the 10. Inside the 5. Touchdown, Denver. Wow. I mean, it, we, we're going to have trouble getting him on the ground, it looks like. And up to McGee. Patient running through the middle. Makes a tackle and missed 15-10. Steps out of another tackle. Inside the 5. Leans to the pylon. Touchdown, Denver. Two-point conversion for the tie. Fakes, keeps the ball, Tim Tebow to the end zone, and we are tied at 29. An attempt of 23 yards for the win. And Denver has won five consecutive games. After today, the Broncos are going to be atop the AFC West leaderboard tied with the Raiders. With a 7-5 and five record, the Denver Broncos were becoming a national story. Much of the focus was on the offense, but the defense also played a vital role in the Broncos' playoff chase. Hey, guess who? Von Miller. He's just going to do the mile-high salute. I like that. Classy. We're going to be doing it a lot in this town. and Keep it classy. Bookends Von Miller and Elvis Doomerville, number 92, combined for 21 quarterback sacks and Denver's total of 41 were the most sacks by the club since the 2000 season. Vaughn Miller just oh. ran over the tackle. How long are you going to do this? What is it? What, what is this, 15? 13. Come on, man. <laughs> Cornerback champ Bailey was named to his 11th Pro Bowl, and safety Brian Dawkins was named to his 9th Pro Bowl in his final season. 
This ain't a day for taking no breaks. Hey, ain't no coffee breaks today, dawg. Let's ride out for one another. Hit hard and sacked. That's like when you see the shark oh. coming after the person in the water. In week 14, the Broncos faced one of the toughest defenses in the NFC, with playoff implications for both teams. It's good day, baby. We got, let's believe the whole day, all right, man? That's what we do. Let's have a great one, all right? Stick together, all 60 minutes. What is shot! Here's Tebow on the shotgun. Protection starts to break. Tim steps up and now he's going to run. Breaks the tackle. Good play, Brian. Tebow took two or three big shots. Uh, no, I'm fine. Yeah, he didn't phase me at all. Fine. Yeah, I'm fine. It's hurting more than I am. Why do we always got to do this? Side. Figure it out, man. Go. What is up? Tebow with a fake in the pocket. Loads it up. Home run ball. He's got Demaryius Thomas. Thomas has it go right through his hands at the 10 yard line. Did it go through his hands? So you're good. Hey, no big deal. Just makes it closer for a little bit longer, man. You're about to go catch the game winner. And then you'll be the, the hero of the game. Go, go. Let's do it. Let's go, Tebow! What is that? Denver's down 10 0 with 3 11 to go. You need to be in the no huddle here. You need to throw the football. Don't go away just yet. Tim steps up. He can run. Tim's at the 10, throws, pass caught to Marius Thomas. Touchdown, Denver. Yes, said, bro. Great job. Thanks, buddy. Let's go do this thing. All right, buddy. No, we can't. We can't just wait and. Wait for the opportunities. We got to do it now. You've got to navigate 40 yards. Denver's defense had kept them in the game. Now, the offense needed a field goal to tie it at 10. Tebow hit as he throws. Caught by Willis. Willis has it at the 42-yard line. Spike him. I'm off. Go. And stop the clock with eight seconds to go. It's going to be Matt Prater time. 59 yards to tie the game. Snap, placement. Prater has it on its way. He's got plenty of distance. It is good! <laughs> Broncos scored twice in the final 208. And we are headed into overtime. Hey, Coach Fox. Same deal. <laughs> I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to say. Scrimmage now inside the Denver 40 to the 38. Hand off Harry Barber right side. Big hole. Barber has the ball. Fumble is free. Denver's got the football. Sets, throws, pass is going to be caught. Demarius Thomas. Tim breaks the team, jumps up inside, tries to run away for Lacker, does, breaks the tackle, and he's down to the 34. Matt Prater can win it. We pay every foe. Hey, we pay every foe. It's nothing. Prater with plenty of leg on the way, and it is over. Yeah! The Broncos have won six consecutive games. Way to believe everything you do. Way to believe everything you do. It's all about you. Gotta believe every day. Great job. Good job. Good job, man. Way to go, baby. Way to go. Prater ties the game from 59 yards out with three seconds to go and wins it from 51 in overtime. The Broncos right now by themselves in first place in the AFC West. Hey, all seriousness, man. We are rewriting the book. Oh, keep fighting. Uh, it's a tribute to you guys and what you've done and what you, you're going to continue to do. The Broncos won the AFC West with an 8-8 eight and eight record and faced the 12-4 and four Pittsburgh Steelers in the wild card round of the playoffs. One of these two teams will be playing the New England Patriots next Saturday night. Full house at Sports Authority Field. First playoff game since the 2005 season. 
Tebow in the pocket. Sets, pumps. He wants Thomas. Still some time. Sets his feet, throws a deep ball now. Thomas is there and makes the catch. That play has to do wonders for the confidence of Tebow. The Broncos led the NFL in rushing in 2011, but against Pittsburgh, they relied equally on the passing game. Wants Royal in the back of the end zone. Eddie's there, and he makes the catch. Touchdown, Denver. Tebow, two great passes in a row. He did get that knee down and secure the catch. And that ball came down in the breadbasket. Unbelievable. Hey, DT, that's how you scramble drill, man. That's what I'm talking about, baby. No ball, baby. Design quarterback, keep right guard. Tebow's inside the five. Tim Tebow has a Bronco touchdown. Virtually untouched into the end zone. And the Broncos' second touchdown of this first half has increased their lead to 13-6. Right here, right now. You understand me? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. With two Super Bowl wins since 2005, the Steelers showed they still had a champion's resolve. He's going to run and throw it on the run for the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! A brand new ball game. Then we're going to overtime. Denver's football, first snap of overtime here, tied at 23, line of scrimmage, the Bronco 20. was a good season for the Broncos. 2012 might be a great one. We told him that, you know what, we're going to do everything we can to compete for world championships. He's a guy that raises all boats. Um, he's a guy that's going to make our football team, he's already made them better, and they haven't all met him yet, just because of the type of person he is, his reputation, and what he's done in this league. Um, I believe that uh, he's got a lot of great football left in him. I've always had a great deal of respect for John Elway. He is one of the best quarterbacks to ever play, and his knowledge and respect for the game is evident in everything that he does. Talking football with John, with Coach Fox, and his staff helped me realize that this is a great place to be. I am thrilled to be here. I'm looking forward to meeting my new teammates and doing everything I can to help this franchise win another Super Bowl.